Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over this MyQ app tutorial. Now this video is gonna be particularly useful for individuals. Let's say that you recently installed the MyQ app. How do you actually go ahead about navigating it? Now this video is gonna be short, sweet, and simple guys. There's not gonna be a lot of steps involved. So first things first, on the upper hand corner or the upper hand side of the screen, you have the name of your house. So you can select the home. Here I have two homes. You can click on manage home. And this is where you're simply just gonna give your house a name. Next, you have the center button. So this right here is connected to my garage. If you click on the button where it's literally the garage icon, it's going to open your garage. And if you click on it again, it's going to close your garage. Now keep in mind, there is about a five to 10 second delay when you actually click on the button and then your garage actually responds to close or open. So keep that in mind. Next, you have the gear icon. So this is the settings icon where you can edit your device name. And you can also edit your notifications, alerts, device control, and remotes. And you could also remove this device. And so with notifications and alerts, click on that. And so you can be notified every day when your garage door opens and your garage door closes. So I personally want it this way. So you can edit these notifications. Maybe you only want to be notified when your garage door is closed. That's more so up to you. And so with it, there is a way to edit notifications and alerts via MyQ. Now, and the next thing is on the bottom left hand corner, if you click on users, this is where you can invite, let's say someone to watch your vacation home. Maybe you want to invite family and friends to be able to open your garage. All you've got to do is click on the plus icon on the upper right hand corner and then collect or select co-owner or family and friend. And then once you do so, you just need to enter their name and their email and then make sure that they have the MyQ app installed and are logged in. And so with that, they should be able to see the invitation. I'll show you how to check that in just a second. But the next tab is the history tab. All this information was currently blurred. You can see here, this is all the activity that has happened on my queue. So it's mostly just my garage door opening and closing. Now on the upper left-hand corner, if you click on your profile icon name, you can actually click on manage account. And then this is where you can edit your profile, manage your home, manage your notification settings as well. If you click on invitations, this is where your family or friend or co-owner should see their invite to MyQ, okay? So they'll get an email. They should see the invite to MyQ over here and then they could accept it. You could also do device management. So if you wanna add another device, if you wanna add more home kits, this is where you can add a new device. Just click on add a device and then select a device that's collect, select that corresponds to MyQ and then follow the on-screen instructions. Now, the other buttons here, such as Amazon key, security, my dealer, privacy legal, my QR code, I really don't use those options a lot. So I wanna keep it simple when it comes to this tutorial as far as what are the important things you need to know when it comes to the MyQ app. Also, if you return to the home screen, I normally never use Discover. I also don't use Shop. That's more so MyQ selling cameras. It's them selling smart locks doorbells, garage controllers. I normally don't use this or check these tabs. It's more so just to sell more products to you. So the main tabs that I use are just the home tab, the users tab, and the history tab. And then knowing how to invite people to your MyQ app. So if you click on users, click on the plus icon, that's how you invite someone. And then of course, also editing your notification settings where you click on the upper left-hand corner, then click on manage account, then click on notification settings. You could also turn notifications off via your mobile device. Or if you click on manage home, you can change the name. But if you go back and click on the gear icon, you could actually edit the notifications inside the MyQ app as well. Those are the main things that you need to know when it comes to using the MyQ app. But there you have it, guys. That right there is the best and easiest way that I know of to actually go ahead and explain this MyQ app tutorial. If you guys know of a better or easier way to actually learn this, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you guys all in the next video.